Welcome to Flash Tutorial 21, Animated Moving Landscape. It's a remake of a tutorial I did many moons ago, Flash Tutorial 5, How to Make a Continuous Moving Background. This is a beginner's type tutorial, meaning I'll take my time and explain things that people that can use Flash well may not want to want to view it. I'm starting a new FLA. I'm going to select Action Script 2, although there's no Action Script in this particular tutorial. The follow-up to this one will have Action Script, and I'm going to use Action Script 2. I'll press OK. I want to make my stage about 50%. I'm going to call this first layer Sky, S-K-Y, and pick up your rectangle tool. I want no stroke, so click on that stroke there, and go up here, click no stroke. I want a color, my sky, to be a bluish, a light blue. I'm going to go with that one there. Click that corner, and go like that, and make the blue sky. Lock that layer, make another layer, call it sand, S-A-N-D, as in the sand on the beach. Again, and I want no stroke, but a fill. I want a sandy color for my fill. And I'm going to go with this color each here. And I'm going to just make it there like that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing the graphics. You have to be able to draw to do this particular video. Pick up my selection tool. I'm going to make another layer, call it Mountains, M-O-U-N-T, Mounts. Now I'm going to pick up the paintbrush, and the paintbrush uses the fill, pick up black, and I'm going to quickly draw a mountain range. and pick up a bucket fill and hopefully fill it. What's important with this mountain range is that it be larger than your stage. And I'm going to now pick up a lighter color for my brush, uh, a gray, and I'm going to draw in, use my paintbrush, some, some spots, and then I'll get back to you. There's as much as i done on it. I just added some, some colors. And now we got to pick up a, a marker spot. So make sure all your layers are locked. Pick a new layer. Now this time your pencil tool. And the pencil tool is this one. So let's make it uh, something that's going to be stand out each red. And on your drawing, I'm making it 100% here. On your drawing, somewhere close to this right, this left hand side, pick a specific point. And my point is right there. And I'm going to put a mark. That mark is going to help us line up this, this mountain. So it's the where this long gray meets this black. Click here, go to 25%, so we can see a whole bunch of it. Lock this, let's call this layer um, marker, M-A-R-K-E-R. Unlock the mountains layer only. Select frame one. It's highlighted. If it isn't, pick up your selection tool and highlight it. Move over to get those crosshairs. Right click, copy. Come back down on your stage. Right click, paste in place. Now using your arrow keys, your, your right arrow key, move that over. And it'll, it'll let you move it over. Move it over until I have a gap in here which is wider than my stage. And that looks about reasonable for me. Oh, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to highlight that a little bit more. There. Now, I'm going to take and fill in this section here with mountain. So, 
picking up my paintbrush again. I'm just going along here, not being fussy. And I'm going to fill that in and I'll get back. Okay, now I have this long range of mountains. Big long range of mountains. Unlock that mountains layer. And I should have all that. Pick up my selection tool. I want to make this stage a little bigger. Uh, about 100%. So I can see right there that mark. Now, make sure the only thing that's selected is the mountain layer. Right click on the stage. Select all. Now remember this point right here. Okay, That would be equivalent to oh, Let's go back out for a minute. Zoom out so we can find that for a minute. This point here where that marker is being, remember we copied this and pasted it, would be equivalent to this point right here. Okay. So now that we have the whole thing selected, we're going to use my left arrow and move it until this little point here is over to here. That's what we're going to do in a few minutes. Go up to the 400 mark on your timeline around there, 400 ish. There's 400. And on that mountain range, actually, you can click those three bottom layers. Right click, insert keyframes. That brings all that information up to there. But now, again, if your mountain is the only one, the only layer that's unlocked, and you right click again, if, if it isn't selected, select all. And we're going to toggle it using my arrow key, my left arrow key, until this point right here is on that marker. So we have to bring the marker up too. Insert a keyframe. Okay, here I go. Right click, select all, and moving it over. And this is the point I want right here. Once we get close, we'll magnify it. It's right there ish. Let's go to 100%. It's over here. And it was, i got to go back. I think it fits right there. There. Now, somewhere in this gray of the mount layer, create a tween. And control, test my movie. And when this point here hits this marker, Actually, it's this point here. When this point's the marker, you won't even see a new frame start. And it's starting over again, and over and over and over. Now we're going to add a layer of trees in, in here. So to save some time, I have that half done. But we're going to create a new layer called trees. Make sure it's above the mountain layer so you can see it. Select frame one. And right in here, I used my paintbrush, and I made a tree line. And I did it the same way. I made a section. I made a section that was the approximately a little bit bigger than my stage to about here. I highlighted it, copied it, moved it way down the end down here. And just like before, I filled the center, the center in, just as I made those mountains. And if we look close, I also unlocked my marker layer, clicked on my marker layer, and I used my arrow keys and brought my marker layer right down. It was up here before, and brought it down so it's touching right where this arch is. And I'll, I'll recognize that arch because I have this, looks like a greater than sign, and I can find that pretty easy if I scroll up here. There it is there. So th that's where my marker is going to be when I'm finished. Now, to make this work, because I moved the marker, we have to go way up here, up to our frame 400. And if I go on frame 400 and scoot back to where that marker is, the marker is way up there. So if I just click here till I get those fuzzy square, 
drag it in here and now that puts my marker down where I want it All right now we got to make sure the only layer that is selected is the trees layer remember you have it very long now let me show you what it looks like if I show all it is if I go back to frame one those trees are another stage width longer than the mountains so there they are on frame one up on frame 400 I select it insert a keyframe make sure it's a keyframe now I'm going to use my because it's all selected right click select all if you haven't done that the only thing that now we're selecting is the trees using my left arrow I'm moving it over and I'm moving it to this point here you may notice my picture is breaking up my graphics it's because I do not have a lot of RAM on this machine but when we actually make the video and when we actually make the FLA it will turn out right I'm using my left arrow and I'm moving the trees over moving the trees over moving the trees over and I'm pretty close to where I want to be so now if we go up here to a hundred percent I gotta find that look back where the stage is and it's this point right here so again right click select all and in my case I gotta back it up until this point right here in my case right there is underneath that marker there now I can see that my mountain range has come through here and how I'm going to rectify that is I'm just going to bring the sand up like that and now the sand is going to fill in where the mountain was it I'm going to put that sand back where it was and there's an, two other ways of doing it you could go to frame one of the trees select that frame unlock the layer select frame one of the trees use your free transform tool and you could find the center of it wherever it is and you could make it bigger and or you could just drop it down not necessarily make it bigger just drop it down as long as when you scan through you can see that it's going to cover the mountains if you do either of those last two procedures making it big and or moving it the whole thing down you must go to frame 400 if I look at frame 400 now and find it it's still not good you would have to come here click on this frame get that fuzzy square and drag that into there and now you would be alright so either of those methods would work equally well so let's test this oh right click here anywhere make a classic tween and let's give this a little test the trees are closer so they move faster and again uh, as soon as we come to the end it'll continue again the stats spot right there that's my it's going to continue there hits the marker you didn't even see it okay good now I want one more layer and it is going to be a layer that has some telephone poles on it I'm just putting it down to see show all so I can see see what I have and um, lock all the layers it's got to be in front of the trees layer so select the trees layer insert a layer call it poles and again we're back on frame one and you're going to draw in some telephone poles I'll just magnify them so you can get some idea what they look like all they are is a all I did was drew two of them one two put two sagging wire three sagging wires and then I just copied them and, and pasted them and copied and pasted and copied and pasted and played around until I got my string of telephone poles 
and that should be a stage width longer than what the trees behind it are and we will use the same format where we'll go to frame one find something specific to look at for our marker where's my marker now I'm going to lock all my layers I'm going to hide all my layers except my marker and my marker is there I'm going to just bring it up into the sky so I can see it for now when I unlock it there's my marker and I gotta find somehow since they're all the same I think all I need to do is pick that marker off and put it on on the middle of any telephone pole as a matter of fact and do only lock that layer again unlock the pole layer go up to frame 400 insert a keyframe right click select all make sure we can see everything show all now using your arrow key my left arrow key I'm moving it I'm moving it over until this pole right here is on my marker and you'll see some strange things going on here but they're not really they're not really happening they look like they're happening but they're not okay let's go to 25 percent and I gotta come further because I want this pole to be on my marker and the reason that looks funny at the uh, on the other scale on that show all scale on this scale when before it's because I have a very small RAM on this computer and it's not keeping up to what we're doing so again I got to right click make sure I have it all selected move it some more to the left moving it to the left moving it to the left and I use the arrow keys because uh, I want to keep the proper Y position I think this is the one I want yeah pretty much sure this is the one I want and I want that pole to be right on that line there it is now let's test this oh make it a tween click here somewhere classic tween and now the poles everything should be moving at different rates the poles are going faster because they're closer the trees are going a little bit slower because they're behind and the mountain moves the slowest and you can play around with the if if you want to change something what you would do is you would grasp all these here for example and either make them longer and try that that's a little better okay now we have this marker and you got two choices here well you got more than one we can just right click and delete this layer but we can also double click on the layer on the envelope there double click on it and open it up this little layers properties and make it a guide click on guide it's still here a little hammer comes in here and it's still here when you can see it but when we test our movie it's gone okay nice little video don't worry about this because this is not seen if you were publishing this it would only show where the stage area is there's going to be a follow-up it'll be flash tutorial 22 moving landscape using action script I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn